Hello, and welcome to your daily dose of joy. We're here to add a dash of insight and a sprinkle of wisdom to your day. Today we're delving into an intriguing topic, the societal expectations and pressures that may contribute to men having lower standards. Together we'll explore how these factors shape perceptions and behaviors. So buckle up for an enlightening journey. And remember, if you find this content helpful, do not forget to give it a thumbs up. So, what are standards, and why are they important? Let's dive right in. Standards in essence, are the personal and societal benchmarks that guide our behavior and decision-making. They act as our moral compass, helping us discern right from wrong, good from bad, acceptable from unacceptable. In personal contexts, our standards influence our choices from the simplest things like picking a restaurant for dinner, to life-changing decisions like choosing a career or a life partner. In social contexts, standards act as unspoken rules that govern our interactions with others, shaping our responses and reactions. They help maintain harmony and mutual respect within society. But standards go beyond what we expect from others. They also reflect what we expect from ourselves. They signify our self-worth, self-esteem, and our personal boundaries. So remember, standards are not just about what we accept from others, but also what we accept from ourselves. Men, just like women, face societal expectations and pressures. It's a universal truth, one that often goes unnoticed or unspoken. These societal pressures can be insidious, silently dictating the way men view themselves and the world around them. Let's take a moment to unpack these societal expectations. From a young age, boys are taught to be tough, to suppress their emotions, to be the provider. They're told boys don't cry and man up. These phrases, seemingly harmless, perpetuate the idea that a man must always be strong, that vulnerability is a sign of weakness. But the pressures don't stop there. Men are also expected to be financially successful, to have a certain physical appearance, to be the ultimate protector. These expectations are deeply ingrained in our society, often perpetuated by media and cultural norms. The weight of these expectations can be overwhelming, leading many men to feel they must compromise their standards to fit into this rigid mold of masculinity. This also extends to their relationships. Men are often pressured to play the field, to prove their masculinity through romantic conquests. They're led to believe that having high standards in a partner is a luxury they can't afford. This, in turn, can lead to unhealthy relationships and a disregard for their own emotional needs. But perhaps the most damaging aspect of these societal pressures is the impact on men's self-worth. The constant pressure to live up to these impossible standards can lead to feelings of inadequacy and low self-esteem. It's a vicious cycle, one that can be incredibly hard to break free from. And here's the crux of the issue. These societal expectations and pressures are not only unfair but they're also unrealistic. They paint a picture of masculinity that's one-dimensional and limiting. They prevent men from fully embracing their individuality, from setting their own standards based on their unique values and aspirations. Societal pressures can lead men to compromise their standards, sometimes without even realizing it. But it doesn't have to be this way. It's time we start challenging these outdated notions of masculinity and create a world where men feel empowered to set their own standards, free from societal pressures. Media and cultural norms play a huge role in shaping our perceptions. It's like we're all swimming in a sea of invisible influences that shape our thoughts, behaviors, and yes, our standards. For men, these influences can often lead to a lowering of personal standards. Consider the media, from movies to magazines, advertisements to social media posts. Men are often portrayed as less discerning, less selective, more ready to compromise their standards. It's a common trope, the man who will go out with anyone, do anything just for the sake of a laugh, a thrill, or to fit in with the crowd. This depiction reduces men to caricatures, reinforcing harmful stereotypes and subtly suggesting that men should have lower standards. Peer influence is another powerful factor. The pressure to conform, to fit in with the group can be intense. When your buddies are all behaving in a certain way, it's easy to fall into the trap of thinking that's the norm, that's what's acceptable. This can lead to a lowering of personal standards as men strive to fit in, to be one of the guys. And let's not forget cultural norms. Every culture has its own set of expectations and norms, and these can often influence a man's standards. In many societies, men are expected to be tough, to be strong, to be unemotional. These cultural expectations can lead men to suppress their true feelings, to hide their vulnerabilities, to lower their standards in order to appear more manly. All these influences, media, peer pressure, cultural norms, they all converge, 
creating a powerful force that can push men towards lower standards. It's a complex issue, one that requires awareness and understanding if we're to challenge and change these harmful perceptions. Media and culture often reinforce the idea that men should have lower standards. But it's high time we started questioning these influences, started pushing back against these invisible forces, because every man deserves to have high standards, to live a life that reflects their true values and aspirations. Lower standards can have serious consequences. Allow me to paint a picture for you. Imagine a man, let's call him John. John has been conditioned by society to believe that he shouldn't aspire to more in his relationships, career or personal growth. He's been told that as long as he's surviving he's doing enough. But what happens when just surviving isn't enough? The first consequence we see is toxic behavior. This is a broad term but in John's case it could manifest as apathy, lack of ambition or even aggression when challenged. His lowered standards mean he doesn't strive for self-improvement or consider the impact his actions might have on others. There's a ripple effect spreading from John to those around him causing distress and tension. Next we have unhealthy relationships. Be it romantic, platonic or familial relationships are built on mutual respect and understanding. However, if John doesn't value himself, how can he value others? This can lead to relationships that are one-sided, devoid of depth and ultimately unsatisfying for all involved. Then comes the erosion of self-worth. With each passing day, John's self-esteem dwindles. He's caught in a loop of underachievement and disappointment, further reinforcing his belief that he doesn't deserve better. This can spiral into feelings of worthlessness and even depression, leaving him feeling stuck in a cycle he can't break free from, and lastly the impact extends beyond John. His lower standards affect his friends, family and colleagues, they can cause a domino effect, influencing others to also lower their standards, creating a cycle that's hard to break. The consequences of lower standards aren't just individual, they're societal, affecting the fabric of our communities and the wellness of our society. It's a phenomenon we need to address, not just for the sake of men like John but for all of us. Lower standards do not just harm men but also the people around them. Change is not just necessary, it's vital. It's time to dig deeper, to challenge the status quo, and to disrupt the narratives that have long held sway. The reasons for men having lower standards are as complex as they are varied and they're often rooted in societal expectations, media portrayals, and cultural norms. This is not about laying blame, it's about understanding. Understanding that the pressure to conform can lead men to downplay their own needs and desires. Understanding that the media's relentless portrayal of the ideal man can distort perceptions of what's acceptable. And understanding that cultural norms can subtly but powerfully shape how men view themselves and their roles in society. But understanding is just the first step. To truly bring about change, there needs to be a commitment to self-awareness and personal growth. It's about recognizing the value in having standards, in not settling for less and in striving for more. More respect, more equality, more authenticity. This isn't about raising standards for the sake of it. It's about raising standards because it leads to healthier relationships, to a more balanced sense of self-worth, and to a society where everyone, regardless of gender, can thrive. When men raise their standards, everyone benefits. It's a call to action, a call to change, and a call to a brighter, better future. And it starts with one simple step, raising the bar. That's it for today's topic, folks. We've navigated a winding path, shedding light on the stereotypes about men and their perceived lack of standards. We've explored the societal expectations and pressures that often contribute to men setting the bar low. We've discussed how media, peer influence and cultural norms shape men's perceptions of what is acceptable, often leading to toxic behavior, unhealthy relationships and low self-worth. But remember, it's not all doom and gloom. We all have the power to change, to raise our standards and to demand better for ourselves and from those around us. So, let's make that change. Let's strive for higher standards, healthier relationships, and a better society. Please share your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe for more thought-provoking content. Until next time, this is your Daily Dose of Joy signing off.